Hi everybody, it's Randy Baker from Composition and Visual Design. Just wanted to go through a short little video on how to make a marsupial camera bag. It's called a saddle bag uh, for shooting. And these are used if you're shooting down on the ground and you want to put your camera uh, down on the ground and be able to level it. Uh, these marsupial bags, these big marsupial bags, can also be used to mount to a car uh, as well. You can mount to the car. So I have a couple of them that I bought over the years. Uh, here's one that's a rip off of. Uh, the marsupial. You can see how big they are, and I've got a smaller one. This one costs about $450. The smaller ones, as you see there, are around $380. Uh, and so they get to be a little bit expensive, but it's a good way to put the camera down on the ground uh, and be able to balance the camera so that it's level and you can shoot at ground level uh, instead of just placing it right down on the ground. What I'm going to show you today is how to build one of these um, using uh, for about 10 bucks. And so here's what you have to do. So go out to your local uh, uh, grocery store and buy about uh, three three pound bags of pinto beans or navy beans and this is what they look like pinto beans and navy beans and then buy a couple gallon baggies um, a bag of a box of gallon baggies I have two gallon baggies so that's what this is this is a two gallon baggy box uh, glad hefty bag and so once you do that you pour the nine gallons of nine pounds of beans in there and you squeeze out all the air in it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm squeezing out all the air in this, so that's just a bag about this big. And then I seal it up, and then I take that bag, and I put it in upside down into a second bag, a second two-gallon baggie or a gallon baggie, whatever you want to do. And I just put it in there, and then I do the same thing. I squeeze all the air out of it. So I get this, I roll it up, and I squeeze all the air out of it. Now you've got a nice little, you know, baggy here with some beans on it. So you can take your camera and you can then put your camera right down in the middle of this when it's on the ground. And this is about a $10 camera bag that you can do. Uh, if you know somebody who knows how to sew, they can make it like a Cordova cover for this uh, and it makes it a little bit better. But it works extremely well. Now, the other thing that you might want to think about doing is um, doing some, uh, what I do is I have these cold shoes uh, here. And so when you look at these, these are about you can find them on Amazon. Uh, they're bullseye. This is B and H. This is Adorama. Um, if you go to the Amazon one, let me see if I can find that. Uh, just go into the type of Amazon Kochu bubble level and go in there, and we'll look at that. Um, here we go. And so there's a bunch of them. Here's one you can get. You know, uh, what is a set of twelve of these for uh, at nine dollars. Uh, there's also other ones where you can get. Uh, a combination of these and uh, you know something like this, which is uh, you know three of these bubble levels and three of these uh, um, uh, two axis bubble spirit levels, and those are pretty good deals for about eight bucks. So really, you know, under ten dollars you can buy these, and then you put these on the cold shoe or the hot shoe on the front top of the camera. Uh, that multifunction uh, shoe on the top of the camera, you go ahead and you slide that in. And that way, when you put your camera down on that bag and adjust it, you can actually see whether or not your camera's level. So, a really, you know, for 20 bucks, you got a really good way to shoot uh, with the camera in a, a bag on the ground that keeps the camera safe and allows you to level the camera and make sure that it's straight.